Yeah, there certainly is. And, you know, I'm going to try and write and maybe talk about this a little bit more, but it, it very simply is bounded downside and unlimited upside for the U S to just start buying Bitcoin. Right. It's like, yeah, yeah. You, you have access to infinite cash, even per the, who is the federal reserve guy that actually said that um, to buy something that's strictly finite. I mean, it's just, it's that obvious. You should, yeah. even if nothing more as a means to hedge yourself against its success, you should follow that path. Yeah, it's it's so obvious, but so difficult to do, I guess, mm-hmm. for uh, a a country that that is that has grown that that is made big by uh, Silicon Valley, all the tech mm-hmm. companies in Silicon Valley, and all the banks in in, in New York. Um, that the banks, of course, see Bitcoin as a competitor, so they're mm-hmm. against, and all the, all the whole yeah, they, they'll be against Bitcoin. So it will take quite some courage from leadership of the banks and thus also from the political political scene to make that change to Bitcoin, mm-hmm. uh, even if it's as logical as we think it is for them with their vested interests. It's almost impossible to to change their existing cash cow business into something new. And the same right. for, for Silicon Valley. Yeah, all the, all the IT is in, in uh, Silicon Valley, but Crypto Valley, um, yeah, <laughs> where's that being built at the moment? Is that is that Singapore or Switzerland? Or, uh, well, if, if, if you make it crypto friendly, you, you'll attract all the developers and the capital and the venture capital, et cetera. Like, uh, well, I guess El Salvador does a great thing, which, but it's of course a very small country. Uh, I guess Florida and Texas are great examples, and um, uh, yeah, and other states as well. I always forget that name of the state where Yellowstone is, but uh, oh, Wyoming. Wyoming does beautiful yeah. things l- yeah. legally with uh, Caitlin and Cynthia, yeah. but um, yeah. So so a country, and especially the U.S., can make uh, the right decision or historically <laughs> historical failure by by accepting the logical uh, thing, uh, Bitcoin, or by uh, banning it uh, like like china did it's 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 beautiful to see actually yeah yeah it really is and it just bitcoin can be a scary new topic i guess to people that are just accustomed to traditional or legacy financial infrastructure but you know again hopefully on this show at least i'm trying to really get down to the bottom of it and at the bottom of bitcoin i've found life, liberty, property, right? It's like, it's what yeah. Western civilization is based on. We now have a very strong implementation of that. So I'm hoping that these ideas will keep percolating and get into the minds of American policymakers as they are to some extent, you know, we've got, you know, uh, yeah. Senator Loomis and and others um, wait, you know, that advocate for this, like a very principled approach to uh, to governance. Yeah, yeah, and, and and I really, I mean, maybe it's good to know. I'm I'm very hopeful uh, because I know the discussion is going on uh, in a lot of governments and 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 uh, regulators uh, mm. in, in different countries, and I talk to a lot of them in Europe, mm. but also in the U.S. and Canada, and and, and and those are more more private settings with a lot of people from the Bitcoin community and from the traditional finance or regulator community, governments as well. Mm. So the talks are the talks are good. Um, and I think the tone is good, and I guess the the stakes are uh, known. I guess most politicians know that they it's not wise to kill a promising innovation. Um, right, that's a risk. Uh, but they also care about, of course, money laundering and terrorist financing and all that stuff. So we'll find a solution somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I've got this. I guess optimism that Bitcoin, the incentives sort of uh, get between the cracks of the established order, where these individuals within government are taking some position in Bitcoin, right? Even if it's just speculative, but in doing so, it kind of reorients their incentives towards it, right? Where they may have been resistant to it originally, they may actually start to yeah. advocate for it a little more. 
Yeah, and there are very clear incentives. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're in the new Crypto Valley, you attract all the brains, all mm -hmm. the capital, and all the yeah the, the the benefits that come with that. So, yeah, do you want to be the next uh, Crypto Valley and uh, and 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 a New York uh, uh, heart of the financial system in the world, or or, or, <laughs> or yeah. do you want some other country uh, to be the to get, to get that advantage? Yeah. I think it was Naval said something like, "If New York does not embrace, you know, Bitcoin and or crypto, that they're going to end up like Detroit." <laughs> exactly, exactly like, like that. Yeah. Well, and, and look at the mining. What happened? China bind, uh, banned it, so right. they lost their their most strategic control on Bitcoin, mm -hmm. uh, the mining. Then Canada basically uh, scared the uh, miners away as well because mm -hmm. they have beautiful. Uh, Hydro power, almost zero in, zero costing um, electricity, but some political force doesn't want it because of well some misinformation probably. Mm -hmm. And then Texas and the the US, but mainly Texas, they 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 welcome all the miners yeah. with the flare gas, and, yeah. and one rig after another is powered or is is powering uh, the mining rigs. It's, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's it's smart as well. Mm -hmm.